Hold on. How much did you have to drink? <laughs> Answer me. All she had was some soda. I was with her the whole night. Who asked you? <laughs> well? I don't. No, I'm not on drugs. I'm not drunk. Yeah. Why are you acting like a total idiot? Take it easy, Jacob. Take it easy. I don't know. Maybe uh, she's coming down with something. Yes. Maybe, maybe uh, the, 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 all the excitement got her a little lightheaded. Yeah, no, she's out of control. She needs to go to rehab. What? No. Are you going to make the phone call or should I? You're overreacting, JR. No. I'm going to bed. Oh. Uh, all right, you know what? That's it. Oh, no, no, it's uh, quiet now. Easy. easy. Oh. I, I, think, I think there is a fever. Fever and, and there's a, a rash. Look, I don't think there's a rash. <laughs> no, she does feel really warm. Maybe she's just coming down with a virus or something. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just a little nauseous. Yes, well, that's okay. Uh, uh, Pete, uh, could you, could you take, <laughs> take this young lady out to the, the Paris and give her some fresh air? Oh, <laughs> hands <laughs> off. Good, good. Have a good time. <clears throat> <laughs> You actually bought that BS. She'll be fine. What the hell are you up to? Zach? Mom. Hi. What? It's on the news already? Great. No, I have no idea who he was or why he would want to come here or attack somebody. No clue. Are we done? Great stuff. This is what happens when people take on more than they're ready for. Oh, not now, Kendall. How much did you blow on this shindig? The food, the posters, that stupid bottle. Why do you care? I put up my own money. We've spent the last two years trying to get people to stop associating fusion with death. You have managed to undo that in one night. How is it my fault that some creep attacked Randy? Relax. I'll relax when I kill this whole stupid idea. You, you can't do that. Oh, I can, and I will. By tomorrow morning, Bella is nothing but a bad memory. Come on, just give it a few days. Maybe, you know, the buzz will get people talking. Maybe it'll turn out to be good for us. Okay, if I see one negative story, I pull the plug. Okay. I'm gonna go get a drink now. Hey, ask if I want one too. It'll be good practice for when you go back to taking orders from me and Greenlee. Margarita. Are things really that bad? Beyond. I haven't seen you all night. What do you say we um, get out of this place, go home? I've got to stay and do damage control. One of the perks of being the boss. I won't be mad if you leave. No, I'll stay. Support the team. Rocks, no salt. That's why I love you. Peace. Check these numbers for me. She keep calling for me. What? Finally. A little busy over here. Uh, you were supposed to be at Confusion hours ago. Do me a favor, check June as well. Zach, hello? I can't really talk right now, right? What's going on? Business. Well, what kind of business? The kind of business you don't need to worry about. I got people in my office, I gotta go. Wait, wait. Did you hear what happened tonight at the party? One of our office workers got attacked. Is everyone okay? Yeah, yeah, we're fine, but the police came. I really wish you were here. I'll be home later. When? I love you too. Why are you so suspicious? I don't know, Dad. Maybe because Colby thinks the Ottoman is hilarious. If she had been drinking, we would have smelled it on her breath. Colby has been walking around with a water bottle filled with vodka for weeks. You never noticed. Right. That was a hard time for her. Now, it's over. You don't know that, Adam. And you stay out of this. Hey, no, she's no longer a member of this family. I'm not going to have her judging my daughter. Babe's as much family to Colby as I am. It's okay, JR, really. No, no, it's not. So there's something seriously off. You're the first one to always jump on Colby, ground her, threaten to send her off to Europe. She comes home blitzed, and you want to give her a pat on the head? All Colby did was go to a party and hang out with her friend Pete. Her friend? Yeah. 
That's Palmer Cortland's kid. He's practically living here. He's... How could you let him through the front door? He's a good kid, a good, clean kid. Oh, yeah. Far better than that other bunch he's been hanging out with. Ended up in, in, in jail on a manslaughter charge. Not if he's encouraging her to dream. I ask you to stay out of it. She can say whatever she wants. Fine. I'll drown her out. Let's see what happened after we left. Let's hope Bella didn't take too hard a hit. If you just sit down, you'd feel better. Oh, oh, oh this feels so good. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it feels... It feels... Yeah. Like someone drugged me. Who would do that? Was it you? You looking for Greenlee? None of your damn business. Well, excuse me for caring. Kendall, you have a life, so why don't you stay the hell out of ours? I was just being honest. If you guys are having problems, it's not my fault. The only problem that Greenlee and I have is that we're friends with you. We're happy. Whatever you say, Aiden. Kendall, I'm handling it, okay? If by handling it you mean control your woman, it's not gonna work, all right? You can't force Greenlee and Ryan apart. I've been with them, I've known them a long time. It won't work. I made Ryan choose, her or me, and we all know how that turned out. Well, we're not you and Ryan. If you push her, or if you give her an ultimatum, it'll blow up in your face. Thanks for your unwanted advice. Trust me on this, Aiden. If you don't back off, you will lose her for good. You think I drug you? Did you? No, I swear. How, how would I know how? You're a science freak. Why would I want to make you sick? Not sick, just, just like out of it. So I could... I do. I want to. Take advantage of me? No. What? What? No. <laughs> yeah. Duh. What am I talking about? 